Ketamine, a well-established anesthetic with decades of use, is now gaining significant attention for its expanding medical applications. In this video, we'll explore ketamine's role in anesthesia and pain management, and in the treatment of some psychiatric conditions. We'll also look at issues around risk management and regulatory guidelines. Ketamine is indicated for use as a general anesthetic. It's also often used off-label for acute and chronic pain management. Additionally, esketamine, a derivative of ketamine, is now approved for the management of treatment-resistant depression and PTSD. Let's look at ketamine's method of action. Ketamine is an NMDA receptor antagonist, modulating glutamate activity, which is critical for dampening the transmission and amplification of pain signals. As a result, it reduces sensitization to pain. Ketamine provides analgesic effects, and its interaction in the opioid and dopamine pathways enhances its efficacy for the management of acute and chronic pain. Studies show that ketamine's pain control modulating properties make it an effective treatment in complex cases. It's helpful in reducing clinical opioid use, thus lowering the risk of patient dependence. Consensus guidelines from the American Society of Regional Anesthesia and Pain Medicine, the American Academy of Pain Medicine, and the American Society of Anesthesiologists support the use of intravenous ketamine infusions for acute pain management. The evidence base for chronic pain management with ketamine is continually advancing. It is typically recommended for short-term pain relief or as part of a multimodal approach when other therapies have been insufficient. The medical literature indicates that low-dose intravenous ketamine infusions can be an effective treatment option for reducing pain intensity in patients with refractory or complex pain conditions. The following conditions have been studied in this context. Cancer-related pain, fibromyalgia, neuropathic pain, and refractory migraine. It's important to note that while these studies suggest potential benefits, the use of ketamine for these conditions is still under investigation. Ketamine is FDA approved for use as an anesthetic and remains widely used in surgical, post-operative, and emergency trauma settings. In 2019, the nasal spray formulation, esketamine, was also FDA approved for treatment-resistant depression and PTSD. For chronic pain, adherence to established off-label use guidelines is essential, and consultation with a pain management specialist is recommended to ensure safe and effective application. Ketamine can be administered intravenously, intranasally, or orally with delivery methods and dosages adjusted to the patient's specific condition and pain severity. When used with an appropriate therapeutic guidelines, ketamine has a well-established safety profile, but its classification as a Schedule III controlled substance requires scrutiny and close monitoring. Potential side effects can include tachycardia, blurred vision, nausea, and hypertension. At certain dosages, ketamine may induce hallucinations and disassociative effects, such as an out-of-body sensation. When administering ketamine, it's important to monitor patients closely and be prepared to address any adverse effects. With ketamine's expanding use, we're seeing a rapid expansion of for-profit clinics operating outside of traditional hospital settings. These new clinics are revealing gaps in the use of established safety protocols, best practices, and training. Gaps that exist between the clinics and hospitals, and even among the clinics themselves. As ketamine use expands beyond hospital settings, it's essential to uphold the same rigorous standards applied within hospitals to ensure patient safety and care quality in all settings. Ketamine has a broad range of applications and associated risks. As healthcare providers, you play an important role in educating patients about ketamine, helping them form a clear understanding that's grounded in medical evidence and legally approved use.